Well, the final phase of justice served in the brutal stabbing death of Bronx teen Junior Guzman Feliz. Five remaining reputed gang members convicted in Junior's death, each sentenced from 12 to 18 years in prison. All of the men pled guilty to manslaughter and for dragging Junior out of a bodega in 2018 so fellow gang, gang members could stab him. Eyewitness News reporter Marcus Solis was inside the courtroom for the sentencing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Leandra Feliz's politeness belies her pain. A mother who inside Bronx criminal court once again faced men responsible for her son's murder. Danilo Pacheco, Gabriel Ramirez Concepcion, Ronald Urena, Jose Tavares, and Daniel Fernandez pleaded guilty to first degree manslaughter for their roles in the 2018 killing of 15 year old Lissandro Guzman Feliz, known as Junior. I don't want to see another mother to lose her son like I saw my son Junior, like I lose my son Junior. The way Junior died caught on surveillance video shocked the city and the nation, running into a bodega trying to escape a mob intent on killing a rival gang member. Guzman was dragged outside, stabbed and slashed with a machete. But the teen was not in a gang, actually a member of the NYPD Explorer program. Those images of a helpless boy who ran and fought like hell to live are still embedded in our minds and in our hearts. In all, 13 members of the Trinitarios were convicted in the case which was delayed by the pandemic. Two masterminds of the attack were sentenced to 25 years to life in prison. Today's final group was sentenced to 12 to 18 years for chasing and handing Guzman over to his killers. The guy dragging a child screaming and stood by. How could you ever say you didn't know what was going to happen? The DA saying she hopes the arrest, conviction, and sentencing of 13 men serves as a warning to anyone involved in or contemplating gang life.